these are the two reactions I want you to be aware of involving uh, benzene rings. One is chlorination of a benzene ring, and the other is nitrating a benzene ring. Benzene plus chlorine gas with FeCl3 as a catalyst will produce chlorobenzene or simply a chlorine on the benzene ring. And what has happened is that one of the hydrogens on the benzene ring has been replaced with one of the chlorines in the chlorine gas. So what's left is the H and the Cl from the benzene ring and then the Cl from the chlorine gas. This is just a catalyst. Don't get distracted by it. It has to be there for completion. The other one is nitration. We're also replacing the hydrogen on the benzene ring with something. In this case, NO2. Look at the conservation of mass. We have HNO3 that's being reacted and we end up putting NO2 on the benzene ring. Well, the hydrogen's removed, and we're only putting one of the oxygens from the NO3. Well, let's check out what's going on. One of the oxygens, along with the hydrogen and this other hydrogen, make up this water byproduct. Next, I'd like to describe something you'll come across in your OWL homework when you complete chlorination of benzene rings. And that is these three positions, ortho, meta, para. These words are used to describe relative positions of two atoms on a benzene ring or two groups on a benzene ring other than hydrogen. A benzene ring all the carbons on the benzene ring all have hydrogens bonded to them, except in this case, uh, on carbons 1 and 2, we have um, an acid group and a bromine. And when two groups are on adjacent carbons in a benzene ring, the, the word ortho is used. When two groups are one carbon away from each other, called meta, and when two groups are two carbons away from one each other, they're called uh, para to one another. So now let's use these um, names for relative position in, in OWL. The assignment in OWL titled Aryan Reactions Draw Given Reactant Structure uh, covers the use of orthometapara. So when the following compound is treated with uh, nitric acid and sulfuric acid, only the meta-substituted uh, substituted product is observed. But what are they talking about? Well, we're going to nitrate this benzene ring according to those reactions that I presented earlier in the video. We're going to nitrate this benzene ring. The question is, where is that nitro group going to go? It's just not going to go anywhere, meaning in any one of these remaining carbons. Apparently, it's going to specifically go to uh, the meta position. And we just learned that meta is when the two groups have a carbon in between them, or they're one carbon away from each other. So I'll draw that meta product. You can see my drawing um, is identical to the correct answer I will provide. It's just that my, their molecule and my molecule is rotated. We can see the carboxylic acid group um, and the nitro group are meta to one another. We need one carbon in, in between them, as shown here. In this question, a fluorinated benzene is treated with the same reagents, nitric acid and sulfuric acid, and the ortho and para isomers are created. They are asking us to draw only the para uh, substituted product. 
and that would be having the nitro group across from the fluorine or having two carbons in between the fluorine and the nitro group. So I'll draw that. And again we see the correct answer for L on the one I provided are the same. And they're pretty much identical, no rotation this time. 